Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Monday the 26th of August. With McShane we're working our way through the Psalms, today reading Psalm 34. From verse 8 of the Psalm we read David saying, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. And reading those verses on their own, one can have this picture of a righteous person, somebody following God, who only has good things. You, your life is a bed of roses, no problems, nothing goes wrong. And sometimes people reading that then begin to say to themselves, oh, but I'm struggling with all of these things in my life. Maybe I'm not a righteous person. Maybe God's left me. This is the promise. Um, I'm not experiencing that. Why not? In actual fact, you read the whole psalm and you realize that David's pleading for, for God's help. And the psalm begins, the superscript to the psalm is uh, a psalm of David when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech. Who drove him away and he left. Now that incident in David's life, Saul was pursuing him. He was under threat. He was about to be killed. He ran away and he went to the, over to the enemy. He went to the, the enemy king. And as he got there, he heard people saying, oh, this is David, the, the, the great warrior from Israel. God's delivered him into our hands. And he thought he'd escape to Abimelech and be protected. And suddenly he re realized maybe he wouldn't be. Maybe this is a bad idea. So he pretended to be insane, and Abimelech drove him away, saying, I've got enough madmen in my court, I don't need another one, get rid of him. And David was able to escape. So when David wrote the psalm, he was not experiencing a bed of roses in his life. It wasn't that he was going around and everything was, was wonderful. He was under threat, he was running from Saul, <laughs> he'd made some bad choices. He had all of these battles going on in his life, and yet he can say this. And the context is, is, is refined a little further if we go down to verse eight, 19. David says, The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. And so he's saying it's not that the, the, the righteous person will never have troubles. He says he may have many troubles, but God will deliver him from them. Not he will avoid them or deliver him away from them or pre pre uh, prevent him from having troubles. But he will see him through the troubles and protect his bones. Not one will be broken. As you experience that kind of, that, that, that challenge, it's not going to be overwhelming. You're going to be able to keep moving. Um, and so I think so many people need to hang on to this, that life is sometimes difficult. And sometimes we look around and think, what's going on? How's it going to work? And it's not that God's left us. And when we have people saying, oh, just give us... Uh, just pray this prayer or do this or give money to this mission or whatever it is and you will be blessed. That may well be true, but blessings are not necessarily financial and uh, 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 social security. There will be challenges in life. But what David's experience was, even in those challenges, God delivers us and we're not overcome. Our bones are not broken. We can keep on going. So, if you're in a difficult situation, I pray that that will, will be your experience, that God will help you and you'll take courage from that. If you're not in a difficult situation, I pray that you'll be able to be an encouragement and a friend to those who are recognizing that uh, difficulties do sometimes come on good and godly people. Um, but we have strength in Christ. That is our hope always. Be blessed.